Hi everyone, this is Simone, aka The Baking Beauty, and today for the first ever Sweet Treats episode, I wanted to show you guys how I make my all-natural and 100% organic strawberry shortcake. I felt like this was the perfect treat to showcase as my first sweet treat because it perfectly fits the season, which is spring, so it's nice and fruity and sweet, even though it is not necessarily springtime here in Chicago. I wanted to showcase this to you guys. Anyway, so these are a few of the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Now let's just jump right into it. And as always, these sweet treats videos are going to be sponsored by Naturally Sweet Bakery, which is an all organic, all natural dessert shop that bakes all your delicious and sweet needs. Now to start, I'm going to take about three quarters of a cup of sugar and three cups of chopped strawberries and I'm going to mix them together. This is what's going to be the glaze on top of the strawberry shortcake and the strawberry filling that's inside of it. So you're going to mix that up and get it nice and incorporated and after you've done that you can just let it sit while we make the rest of the dessert because as it sits it's going to soak up all the sugar and make that super sweet glaze that we want. Now that we've gotten that done, we're going to take four cups of flour and sift that into our big mixing bowl. This is going to be the beginning of the dry ingredients that actually makes our shortcake. So you're just going to go ahead and sift that to make it nice and fluffy. Then after that, you're going to add a quarter of a cup of sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. You're going to go ahead and mix all of this together before we add our wet ingredients to finish off the shortcake. Now you're going to add one and a quarter cups of softened butter. Make sure it is softened and then you're going to just incorporate that until it makes more of a crummy texture i'm going to show you that in a second what it looks like but it's going to be nice and crumbly and then once you get to that you're going to add in your one and a half cups of whipping cream that's going to be the liquid that actually brings it into a dough So after you add your one and a half cups of whipping cream, you're gonna just mix that up with your spatula or your spoon or whatever you're using. And then once you get it as incorporated as you can with that, you're gonna use your hands and knead the dough for a little bit. It does get a little bit messy, but it's all for a good delicious cause. So you're gonna use your hands and then knead the dough and then you're gonna start rolling it out. Now that we've got our dough made, you're going to definitely have to roll it out with a rolling pin. So I'm apologizing ahead of time because I'm pretty sure the camera's going to be shaky because it was on top of my table. But you're going to roll the dough out until it's about between a quarter of an inch and a half an inch thick. It all depends on your preferences on how thick you want the shortcake to be. Now that we have it rolled out, you're going to take a three inch diameter cookie cutter and then you're going to just cut out the shortcakes make sure you make two per shortcake because it's going to be a top and a bottom
to grease my pan i'm going to use butter you can also use parchment paper or aluminum foil whatever works for you you could even use the spray um you're gonna make sure you get you you're gonna make sure you get your pan nice and ready you can put your shortcakes down so put each of your shortcakes down and set them out nice and neat because you're gonna need to get to each and every one of them After you've set them down, you can go ahead and rub some melted butter, approximately a third of a cup of melted butter. You're going to want to brush that over the tops of your shortcakes. After you've gotten that over each shortcake, you just take one of the shortcakes and pop it on top of the other one so it's two layers or levels. Make sure you preheat your oven to 450 degrees so that you can actually bake the shortcakes. I guess I forgot to mention that. So depending on the thickness of your shortcakes, it'll take between 15 to 25 minutes. As your shortcakes are in the oven, you're going to take about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla and one and a half cups of whipping cream. And you're going to whip it until you get your vanilla whipped topping and I love the lip topping I could just eat it by itself but you shouldn't but um, you're gonna take that and you're gonna whip it till you get your topping and then set that aside Now that our shortcakes are out of the oven and they have been cooled, you're going to go ahead and pop them on whatever it is that you're going to be decorating them on. I'm using a plate, so take your shortcakes and pull them apart. They should separate easily. Um, after you've separated them, you're going to butter the insides. And after you butter the insides, now it's time for layering. You're going to first add a layer of chopped up strawberries and you can get the juice and the glazing if you want that's great um, after you add that you're going to add the whipped topping then after that you're going to do that again so you're gonna add another layer of strawberries and another layer of whipped topping after that you can go ahead and put the top of the shortcake on top and then add another layer of strawberries and whipped topping and then go ahead and drizzle a little bit of the glaze that's at the bottom of the bowl of that strawberry and sugar mixture and then you're gonna glaze that on top make sure you get it nice and doused in that because that's where all the goodness really is So, thank you guys for watching my first ever sweet treats video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and subscribe if you haven't and you want to see more organic and all natural dessert videos. I will be bringing those to you every Saturday at 9 a.m. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching and definitely share this video or click the blog post below that has the written out recipe for you and then go ahead and share that with all your friends and family so you guys can all make strawberry shortcakes this spring. See you all soon. Bye.